Hi everybody, it's me again. Well, you've seen the title card. Tom Lester has recently passed away in April 20th, 2020 and was um, I was born September 23rd, 1938 and has lived a good long life. For those of you who do not know um, who I'm talking about and who this Tom Lester is, for any of you who know Green Acres or have watched the show Green Acres or even have a brief idea who it, uh, what that show is, um, Tom Lester played the part of Eb Dawson, who was the hired handyman um, for Oliver and Lisa Douglas and would always drive Oliver crazy along with the rest of the town folk. Usually when I make a... Usually when I make tribute videos for celebrities that have passed, it is only for the select celebrities that have deeply affected me in some form or another. You saw that I made the Robin Williams tribute video while years late, it was talking about, I mean, I was sharing about how Robin Williams affected me and how and why he inspired me. I've occasionally had, um, one of my friends, um, a request and request for me to make videos honoring June Foray or Peter Salis. I hope I said his name right. He's the guy who did Wallace and Wallace and Gromit. Uh, leave in the comments below if I said it right or not. But the reason I never made those videos to pay tribute to them was not because I didn't dislike them or anything. They were terrific voice actors and terrific actors. But they did not personally affect me in the way that maybe, I mean, that Robin Williams, Danny Kaye, or in this case, Tom Lester did. So, how did Tom Lester affect me in a way that Danny Kay, my favorite actor, um, did not. Well, in I mean, personally, he was a subtle hero for me. I, as a kid, I was eager to be an author, actress, and missionary. However, back then, I understood that acting and missionary work usually don't go hand in hand. Nowadays, of course, with um, the Christian videos that come out nowadays, that's obviously not true anymore. But at the time, I truly had no idea. I really didn't know that um, that they could go in I mean, hand in hand. But um, at the same time, you know that it's not always going to go friendly, especially if you're going to work for a huge companies. Um, necessarily but then again other uh, other actors have proven me wrong on that like Zachary Levy um, but in this case let's focus on Tom Lester um, and Tom Lester I mean the fact is that Tom Lester was the first person to prove me wrong on that I he was a born-again Christian since age 10, and he knew God had called him to be a Hollywood actor. Now, everything was against him in every way. For one, he lived in Mississippi, and he had such an accent. And also, he was tall and skinny. And um, if you know Hollywood in the 40s to 60s, you know they would not be looking for that kind of for those kind of actors. They would be looking for the next Clark Gable or um, Gary Cooper or Richard Burton. I, you know, good looking guys. I, and obviously he did not look like them. He was not them. But, even, uh, but eventually when he had the chance, he did take acting classes. He moved to Hollywood and had a coach to help his accent. And eventually, he did get his big break in Green Acres as Eb Dawson. That show still makes me laugh. 
even on a very bad day, and Ed Dawson always kills me along with the rest of the town folk in there. Even though I still say Mr. Haney is my favorite act, you know, my favorite character there. But Ed Dawson's still awesome. <laughs> and I always liked him. And during the runtime, he would tour and use, I mean, and use each moment to evangelize at churches and revival meetings. I would love to see what a sermon with Eb looked like. <laughs> and when the show canceled, in some ways, on the outside appearance, you would say that all seemed lost for him. There was like no purpose for him to travel or tour anymore. I, but that didn't happen. I, and it was not the result. Along with still evangelizing, he took on movie roles, though, I mean, movie roles like Gordy or Benji, but, well, in my opinion at least, they were never as groundbreaking or great. Well, not groundbreaking, but not as great as something like Green Acres. And Hollywood knew that too. In fact, they typecast him a, to be an Ebb-like character for the most part. And um, yesterday he is a uh, yesterday he passed away of complications from Parkinson's disease. It's not the fact that he was the last surviving main cast from Green Acres that hurts or that affects me, but just how much of a subtle hero he's been for me. I mean, I would have loved to have met him, but maybe not in this life. But just the fact that he followed the Lord to Hollywood against all odds, his story touched me, especially as somebody like me who has left and followed him to Lancaster against all odds. And at the moment, quarantine aside, am awaiting further instruction. I still watch Green Acres for a laugh, but his story not only made me like the show even more, but reminded me, but has reminded me that when God calls you to something, he will indeed make a way for you. If you can hear this in heaven, Tom Lester, thank you. Thank you for so much, and God bless you, and I hope you hear the words, well done, good and faithful servant. Rest in peace, Thomas William Lester and Ed Dawson. <laughs> Say hi to Oliver Wendell Douglas.